no let me not start the lip pop <laughs> welcome back to my video it has been three months three long months since i have sat down since i have filmed since i have uploaded since i have done anything youtube related like i really just started back watching youtube tutorials um my background is different i'm in a different location i've moved um a lot has been going on in my life i have been just just life has been going on but i'm back um yes yeah, so <laughs> um in today's video i did this hair and makeup tutorial for you guys okay um i hope you guys enjoy the video please comment let me know your thoughts um like the video subscribe turn on your post notifications so you do not miss when i upload because i will have another video coming this thursday i'm gonna upload tuesdays and thursdays so this thursday i'll have another video coming for you guys so stay tuned and yeah if you would like to see how i slay this beauty supply store wig honey <laughs> then please keep watching so this is the brand hair that i have it's called made beauty and i got this from my beauty supply store there are hair care instructions in the inside and it just tells you the different colors that you can get, how you can style the wig, etc. etc. So I took the wig out the package because I tried it on last night. But this is part of the package that I kept. So this is the texture. It's really long. Comes with a middle part already. This little lace. Now the this part is extremely thick, but I'm not gonna. Well, you can see it. <laughs> it's extremely thick, but I'm not gonna pluck it because I'm just gonna wear it in the middle part anyway. So yeah. Um, the inside has two combs at the front. The things to tighten it back here, and then a comb at the back. So this is what the wig looks like on it looks a little bit crazy <laughs> because um the curls are so tight or whatever but we gonna fix that you know this wig does fit snug so i feel like i won't need any spray but i'm gonna use this got to be glue spray anyway to lay it down low-key i'm scared because i'm like what if this don't turn out right and this is i mean it was a beauty supply it's a beauty supply so wig but i can take it back and my money back so but do y'all notice my skin like it's not a lot better than it was than what it was previously but still got a lot of work to do because i haven't been taking care of it like i'm supposed to so yeah, I got my tweezers and we gonna cut this lace, baby. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue around the edges and then I'm gonna tie it down. Sorry, I'm chewing gum. But I'm going to tie it down with my scarf and then we're going to get on to the makeup. I'm using the Got To Be Glue hairspray. Why is it ski now like that?
So for my brows, I've been using the ColourPop brow pencil. I need to order some more pencils um, because this is my last one. So I need to order some more ColourPop ones and the Benefit ones because those are my favorite brow pencils. So to conceal underneath my brows and for my eyeshadow, you know, prep and stuff like that, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. And this is in the shade 415 Honey. For the top of my brows, I'm going to conceal with the NARS um, Dark One Cafe Concealer. This is the Radiant creamy concealer um it's about the same color as my skin i need to make a trip to sephora y'all because i need so much stuff but i'll probably just order it because i'll end up getting free shipping anyway everything that i need next i'm just going to blend out this concealer So before I get into eyeshadow, because I have no idea what I'm going to do, I'm going to prime my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I got two new palettes. If you follow me on Snapchat, if you don't, you should, because I post a lot on Snap. Um, you would have saw these palettes that I got in December or January, January, and I haven't used them yet. One of them is the 3503 by Morphe. And the other one is the James Charles palette, which a bunch of you probably already know what this looks like because I'm, I'm really late getting this palette, but that's what that looks like. So I'm basically just setting that concealer. I didn't even use one of those palettes. Um, this is the 3502 palette. And I'm going in with the shade tan. Right here. <laughs> and just placing it on. And I might deepen the outer corner a little bit. I don't know, but. So now I'm going in with the rich and just placing that in the crease and in the outer corner and blending it up in that shade tan which was probably my transition shade and i'm making sure to blend out the edges so this is the white from the James Charles palette and it's kind of chalky looking I'm not going to lie like maybe I should have carved out my crease or something but I just got to break through that top layer that on so the lashes that i'm going to be wearing today are i envy they are matte 3d it says invisible band um how did i not see that when i bought it <laughs> i really don't like the invisible bands but okay so i didn't got glue all in my eyeshadow <laughs> but that's an easy fix what i'm gonna do is let it dry and then peel it right off. So while that's drying, we're gonna move to foundation. So I have a new foundation, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, I used it once and it says it is, it doesn't say if it's full coverage or anything like that, but it really did, it, oh, medium coverage. So this is the shade that I got that they matched me with. It looks, I don't know, 
Um, I got four four ninety W. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand, and I'm also going to mix a little bit of my Rada Da the Cat Bun D in there because. This is full coverage. And I'm going to take this It Cosmetics um, flat top buffing foundation brush and just buff that into the skin. I keep losing my hair. Good job, my forehead is huge. So for concealer, I'm going to use that same concealer. Okay, this should be dry enough to come off. So to blend out my concealer, I'm going to take this setting brush and I learned this trick from this girl on YouTube. I don't even remember which video it was, but she basically started blending this hair from the outside. And you see how they just blend it like that and then just circle it up. And try that melt it, baby. Melt it. This is almost gone. It's empty. And I'm not going to bake because I don't have setting powder. So, setting powder, and I'm using setting powder. <laughs> I don't have setting spray. And look at how that just brightened up my under eyes. Like. For contour, I'm using the same, same, same palette. I need to get some cream contour. So, I really need to make an online order. Because I want to try cream contour. I mean, you can see the powder, but you know, I want to be extra. So I forgot to put my highlighter on, on camera, but I just did, I used the Becca Champagne Pop. No, this is Opal. Now for this hair. So I got some Nairobi Nairobi uh wrap lotion. So I'm gonna try to put some of that on the inch just to see how it'll work out because this is fake hair and I don't want it to stay like this. So let's see what we can do because it looks Weird, you know, I look weird. I look funny. So, let's see what we can do, okay? Ooh. 
Ooh, can y'all see the difference though? Look at that. Put a little bit more, and then I think I'm gonna be done. Look at that. So, let me put on some. Some of my sister earrings because I ain't got none. I need to buy some jewelry. There's so much stuff I need to buy. So I just put on these little studs, you know. So what do y'all think? Like, I think this is cute. I have to get used to wearing <laughs> big hair because I've never worn hair this big, I don't think. Nope, my hair always be straight, so. You know, like, serious. So let me show you how long this hair is. Okay, so hold on, let me get myself together. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little comeback, you know. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more hair tutorials, because I'm loving doing hair, trying new things. Um, listen, I just need to get this to lay flat for me. Come on now. Okay, there we go. My braid right here is too puffy. But yeah, if you like this video... Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like just because. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.